Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Fishing Potato. So in today's video, we'll be doing an unboxing and a review of the all-new Daiwa Steez ATW HLC. So this reel came out in 2021 and it's a reel that I've been wanting to purchase for quite some time as I've seen like a bunch of videos on it from Daiwa itself and it looks like a really nice reel to have and I've always wanted a Steez so why not get a new Steez A. So yeah, uh, just so let's just look, take a look at the box and it's just normal diver box man, black color box, yes, mount up. So this is the CCTW HLC 7.1 gear ratio and it's in a, it's a right hand reel because I use right hand reels. So just normal stuff, um, of course it's made in Japan, so yeah. So let's look at the specs. So uh, this Steez A has the all new hyperdrive design, so this, this uh, uh, new technology yes uh, came out with the zillion svs so i have a zillion sv as well and this steez a uh, has that same technology as the zillion sv so it has the max z boost system so this will allow you to uh, have a more controlled cast and minimize backlash of course it has its t tiering system that's very normal for uh, all, almost all diwa rails so yeah, that will help you with distance as well and the other normal stuff like mag sealed stuff yes as a hyper uh, arm housing hyper drive dg gear hy hyper tough clutch so yeah this is the 7.1 gear ratio it's 190 grams it has a max drag of six kilos uh, it wheels in 80 centimeters of line with every turn of the handle it has eight ball bearings and the line capacity of this wheel is uh, 0.33 mm line and you'll go in about 100 meters of it so yeah, it's uh, it's a pretty nice reel. Uh, when I checked out the the specs and stuff like online, and it it really looks it looks really good as well. So yeah, let's uh, take a look at what we get inside the box. So let's raise the camera a little bit. Okay, go down. Yes, mount up. Okay, let's open up the box. As you can see the normal diver stuff. Yes. You got your uh, warranty and stuff. You got a real. The real comes in a plastic bag, like a pouch. Yes, it's a casing. You got your manuals and stuff. It's in Japanese. Yeah, hyperdrive design. That's the fe new feature of the Steez A. So let's take a look at the real, guys. So it comes in a plastic bag. Yes, there's no uh, pouch or anything. So that's a bit uh, sad. I expected there to be a pouch, but yeah. So let's take out the reel and take a nice look at it. Look at that reel. This is one good looking reel right here. So it has a really nice dark blue color to it. So in the previous Steez A was like grey. So now it, it has a new uh, paint job. So it's dark blue. Looks super nice. Looks super duper nice. Look at that. It's a nice glossy paint job. Of course, made in Japan, as you all know. This is really nice. This is really, really nice. It's all there's no plastic on it, so that that's I'm really happy with that actually. There's no plastic. I like I like a reel that has like a solid metal body man. So yeah, Ooh, it's nice and smooth as well. Oh. Yeah, it's one smooth reel. It's super duper smooth. Of course, it has the Mac 4 Z boost pool. So it's the G1 pool. Yeah, it's magnetic brakes. Hear the clicks. It goes up to 20. Of course. Gold T wing bar feels really nice. The clutch feels really nice, so it's not like uh, too high or anything, it's just nice, in my opinion. So you just go down, and it doesn't like uh, I feel like it won't get stuck halfway, so you gotta push it down all the way. So some, some reels have the issue where your clutch is it'll get stuck halfway through, but it'll engage, but when you cast, it will uh, disengage. So this one is really nice where you can actually feel the clutch go the drag. The 
the spool tension if i'm not wrong it doesn't it doesn't click and it's fixed by the factory setting but i'll, I'll change it lah so yeah, no sound at all okay uh and yes okay it has a drag clicker let's hear it That's super loud. That's nice. That is really nice. So I like that a lot. I like how the drag clicker is nice and loud. So let's uh, just take another look at the body. So it has Max Seal written on it right here in red. It's these A T W H L C the seven by one gear ratio. Uh, it says A T D on the drag star. I don't know what that means. Uh, hyperdrive, of course. Hyperdrive the system. Yeah, made in Japan, really nice. Let's open up the reel. So if I'm wrong, I just push this down. Yeah, just push it down and the side plate should pop up. It's a push of the spool. Right, that's the magnets and the bearing. Ooh, now that looks, that is one nice rotor. So this is the, the braking rotor. So it's purple in color. It's very nice, very very nice. Oh, okay. First impressions right here. The spool is super light. It's like insanely light. So yeah, it's really nice. It's Mac for uh, Mac for Z Boost G1 spool. So yeah, yeah it's, a, it's a really nice spool actually. It's nice and deep. This is why I got this reel actually. So I want to use this for like a heavier application because uh, it, if I'm not wrong, this was made for uh, Australian sea bass. So for sea bass fishing, and the spool is designed to be deeper in order to house a thicker and heavier line, and more line. So I'm gonna spool in 30 pound braid and I'm gonna whack some tormans with this man. Maybe some chow parai catfish. Let's see how this reel holds up. So let's put this spool back in. Hey, sorry, sorry, salah salah, wrong way, wrong way. Aye yo, take all away now. Good, good. This goes in, pops right in, and your side plate. Yes, should just click back, hopefully, brother, clicking, okay, mount up, this goes back right there, yeah, alright, so let's load on some 30 pound braided line, and I have a very special handle set from Gomexus, which they sent out to me to try out, so it's their all new Gomexus Black Knight handle, so this is a 100mm handle, and Let's open it up. Let's take a look at it. So uh, it looks super nice. It feels really nice in your in your fingers, and it's something that I I wanted for this reel specifically because it will look amazing on it. So yeah, let's swap out the handle, load in some thirty pound braided line, and let's head on down to Auto to test out this reel and try it out. Let's go. So now we're at auto, we're gonna be trying out Masties. As you can see, this is the reel right here. So I loaded it with 30 pound casking Mega 8 and I paired it up with my Rapala Trailblazer Monster and Junior Rod. And the lure that I'll be casting for today will be the North Craft Air Ogre. Give it a try. It's my first time using the reel, so I don't really know what to expect. Let's set the brakes at about uh, 6. The drag, let's set the drag. down give it a light cast so first cast huh? never tried this reel before 
Alright guys, so uh, as you can see I'm doing a voiceover because I don't know why I forgot to talk here. Forgot here. Uh, in this clip, you can see me just cast really lightly and the distance is really very good really for, for a very light flick. And the reel feels really smooth, uh, the knobs feels really nice to crank with, they are super smooth. It feels really solid, like the reel feels really solid, like it can really give that some fish man, yes. It has a lot of cranking power, so that, that's super nice as well. Okay, now I'll be doing a slightly harder cast, and yeah, as you can see, it flew like the middle of the pond, or like slightly further than the middle. So yeah, the reel casts really well, the casting is really good, and this is all on like four bricks. So yeah, and I'm not casting like the most aerodynamic lure out there. But I'm very sure if I'm casting like a 28 gram walk and roll 13, right, I can probably hit like three quarter of the pond or even to the other side of the pond so yeah uh, it's a it's a really good reel and yeah the casting is really good now let's move on to a scene of my friend uh gabriel who's gonna set the hook on a child prior then gonna he's gonna pass it to edmund to fight the fish so yeah let's go oh uh, yeah my going swollen again Oh, oh, my god, oh my god! How do you feel about the new commercial snorkel? Huh? Not bad, not bad, not bad. You take sigh on your face. I got a lot of spectators that tell you. Slowly fight, huh? Yeah, it's about to come back. Oh, the fish is so strong, Hyman. My goodness. I don't need to pull back your line, huh? Not bad, eh? Not bad, eh? Not bad, eh? Not bad, eh? Oh, you can't go there. Yep. You want to stop with it, you come away. Okay, okay. Hi-yo! Can? Yeah, okay, okay. Very malu, you know. Not so much. Not so much. Yeah, I know, I know. Okay, no tapo, no go. 
Okay, so uh, Edmund, you tried out the reel just now. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you think about the reel, honestly? Uh, I think for that small size, that it is 200 size. Uh, it's actually, uh, the when you're fighting the fish, it's, it's very, very smooth in that sense that your reel does not jam up when you're cranking. And then uh, with the with the drag that is uh, that I'm currently on, uh, it is still strong enough to bring a fish without the need for me to uh, lock the lock the reel down uh, to the maximum. I think this is very important as uh, this will allow the reel to have a longer a longer lifespan and it uh, reduce the the chance of it uh, breaking down. Yeah. Yeah. How was the drag? Do you think it was smooth? Yeah, the drag was very very smooth in the sense that uh, when the CPC was uh, going out at full speed. Uh, it is, it is uh, going up uh, smoothly and nicely and then there was no jamming or interruption uh, in the middle while it was running out. Okay, how was how the cranking power of the reel? Oh, the cranking power was excellent. Like in a sense that, uh, cause usually when you are fighting fish uh, uh, this size, uh, the cranking tends to be uh, jammed. Yeah, it, it will jam a lot in a sense that uh, you can't really uh, crank it and then you must really force it in for you to bring in the fish. But for this one, it, it allows me to crank it uh, easily with ease also. Right. Yep. What do you think about the knobs? The, like knob? the knobs, the Gomex's knobs. Yeah, the Gomex's knobs are actually uh, excellent also in the sense that it also allows me to have uh, good grip on the reel uh, while setting the fish also. Alright, so would you recommend this reel to others? Definitely. I think it's, a, uh, it's an excellent reel uh, for general purpose fishing also. Like, I think it'll be perfect for uh, both freshwater luring and also uh, pond fishing uh, right here at our so. Alright, thank you boss! Alright, sure, thank you! Alright guys, so we've come to the end of our video. So, as you can see that uh, Edmund gave you all a review on the reel because uh, he was the one that fought the Chao Phraya Catfish. And so far, uh, uh, after he caught his Chao Phraya Catfish, I uh, went to test out the reel and I caught a CPC on our popper. I'm gonna put a picture right here. Uh, and as you all know, it's really hard to film at night for like popping and stuff so I didn't really uh, film it so yeah that I still managed to catch a fish on it lah. so uh, my review on it would be that the reel has a good amount of cranking power uh, the casting is really good it's super smooth the reel is really really very smooth and as, as you know in the, earlier in the video I mentioned that when you cast uh, it feels really airy so it, it has like a very light cast feeling to it like, I don't really know how to explain it but it, it feels nice, like, it feels nice. It feels very uh, effortless, yes. The casting is pretty effortless, in my opinion. La. And the the, the knots, the Gromex's handle set really like helps me out a lot because uh, I, I like to have a, a knob that I can really like hold on to like nicely. I'm not a very, very big fan of like rubber knobs. So like that the metal knobs from Gromex's, the Black Knight handle set, it came with really nice knobs and it's uh, nice and grippy like for me it's just nice it's just perfect for me and it looks really nice with the reel as well so do check out that Gomex's handle set it's really light as well it feels nice man it feels really really nice and it's it feels very how to say premium it feels very solid and it's titanium if i'm not wrong so uh, do check do check out their Gomex's shopee page uh, they have a lot of other colors as well they have like a full gold one a full silver one the link for their shopee page will be down below in the description so do check them out and honestly speaking for the reel i would definitely recommend it for people that are looking for a reel to fish like uh heavier lures so like uh if you're going after like toman and stuff so like this will be perfect for you because it's it's a nice deep spool so you can load in quite a lot of line so i have about i have 30 pound line load in and i think i'm probably got like more than 100 meters of line inside the reel so the spool is nice and deep it, it holds a lot of line Holds off heavy line, yes. It holds a lot of thicker lines, and the drag is really good. Drag is super smooth when you lock it down, the drag is really strong as well. So, yeah, this reel will be perfect for your toman fishing and like your heavier, heavy cover fishing. It has a lot of power. It's, I would recommend it, like, I would recommend it fully. I would, and it's a very, very nice reel. So, yeah, that's about it for today's video. Everybody's IG links will be down below. Do check out the new skis A and uh, the Gomex's handles that and the other products as well uh, so my ig link will also be down below so do check me on ig and check everybody else's ig out and yeah that's about it for today's video i hope you all like it make sure to like share and subscribe stay tuned for more bye bye